Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new video on my channel. In today's video, I'm having a slight panic attack right now. Um, so I'm going to try and overcome it during this video. Um, but yeah, I've actually eaten quite a lot um, tonight. So I feel quite puffed out and I feel quite tired and sleepy. As well as I'm having a bit of a panic attack right now. Um, anxiety, panic attack. So I'm going to try and eventually cool it off by distracting myself in this, in this video. So yeah, uh, I got a comment about 20 minutes ago. And um, I'm pretty sure you know who you are. Um, I'm not going to say any names because like, I don't actually have any permission to put that person's YouTube channel in my video. You know, I'm kind of that person where it's like... I need permission to do that or if you want me to do that I'll do it for you you know so I'm not just gonna forcefully put your channel name into my video because I don't know if you're you'll be comfortable with that anyway DM me if you want your channel name in it comment me anything you want and I'll put your channel name in it see ya okay let's start so the person who commented was asking me about my dreams on the tour um i've had very similar comments like this before and back when i got these comments not not the recent ones now but back when i first got these ones my dreams were the exact same i wasn't having any bizarre dreams you know it wasn't weird i was just having these normal weird bizarre dreams that i always normally get because all my dreams are weird um, but it wasn't until I started actually smoking, inhaling the plant, um, and brewing the plant that I actually got some real different terrifying dreamlike effects. So, some of the dreams that I'm going to be explaining to you in this video are very, very, very traumatic to me. Um, they are very damaging and traumatic my own brain you might not see them as being too traumatic but some of the things and the way how some of the some of the things that are done really distress my mind and really put my mind to where I'm really 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 scared to the point where I don't even know if my brain is able to function properly after experiencing that dream so Datura when I dream while I'm on Datura it's got a very different, I've eaten a lot tonight so I'm feeling quite puffed out, I don't know if I mentioned that in my video, and I'm really tired, so I'm going to try and get through this panic attack as well. Um, I've just been having really distressing dreams, um, the dreams are like anything that's happened to me in my in, in the past came back to me and it's kind of reflected back and it's I don't know if it's telling me if it's meaning something I'll give you an example I was abused every week emotionally mostly for eight years since I was about seven or eight years old up until I was about 15 turning into 16 so 10 months ago this actually stopped completely or was it a year it was a year it was a year um and I finally actually got out of that environment. It was my mum's ex-boyfriend who used to throw things at us, shout at us for no reason, break things, break the whole house. Um, whenever I would stand up for myself, he would break something of mine. He broke my own door. He broke my TV for not wanting to go out with him. Um, he forced me to walk on my almost broken leg, on my almost broken foot and that really messed me up quite badly mentally and yeah I've been traumatized from that I'm not I don't think I'm ever gonna get over it because at that young age it was really 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 difficult for me to cope and to see and hear my mother cry and scream and pain and in terror every single week pretty much and to to be speeding in his car when I'm in the back seat and being 
a fucking dickhead um, to me was really traumatic for me um, and I keep having these dreams where he's actually still living with us and I get this extreme paranoia thinking that he's still in the house he's still living here and every single time when I'm having a panic attack or an anxiety attack I feel like he's actually still his presence is still here even though he's not here anymore I can still feel that energy and me being a very strong believer in energies and forces spiritually and paranormal I feel them very often and what I think is happening is when I'm using this spiritual drug this Datura that has been used for hundreds of years back to the Victorian times the native Indian times you know for the medicines and for contacting um, dead relatives I've definitely experienced that energy in my sleep now I'm really trying to get over this panic attack right now those of you who don't know I have panic disorder which is a form of anxiety severe OCD where I have to wash my hands 40 times a day 60 times a day To the point where I have to wipe everything. Mentally exhausting. Anyway, so. When I sleep. I feel the energy entering my body. Or entering my mind. And when that, when that energy comes into my sleep. It changes my whole dream. Or it m makes a whole dream. And it turns into this dream where. He's actually alive. And I can be like, well he is alive. But. I feel him and he's in my dream and when I'm sleeping I have a very realistic dream where it's me and my mum and him and we're walking somewhere and just seeing him and being near him terrifies me deeply um, and when you're when you're really experiencing this dream and the amount of hate and scared and terror that you've got and the amount of years that you've been traumatized by this man you know the amount of humiliation you know the the amount of threats that you've had from this man it really 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 messes with my mind and i'm really trying to uh, i can't recover over it because it's been there since i was so young and i can't i don't think i'll ever get over it but is it's really difficult to explain I feel like this is turning into kind of like a background story of me rather than me talking about my dreams I get suicide dreams when I'm on the tour I get dreams where it's very realistic and I get a dream where I just jump out my window and I die, and when I'm falling, and I'm falling, and I'm falling, I never ever ever hit the ground. And when I do hit the ground, I wake up. I'm in excruciating cramping pains in real life after this dream. I get dreams where I've got to save somebody that I love and somebody that's really there for me. And somebody's out there to go kill that person and I've got to do all that I can to stop that person. And how real this, these dreams are, are really traumatic. And when I wake up that day, I realise, oh my god, that I really have to experience that. And it's not just one dream, it's three different dreams. Three different dreams that I have to experience every night because of this. It might not be every night, but I get it most nights, right? So a couple of nights ago, I had to save somebody that I loved a lot and I realized that I was trying to save my girlfriend, this imaginary girlfriend that I had that I don't even know but I've, I've, I knew her personality so well and I loved her personality for who she was 
I didn't know what she looked like. I just felt her soul. And I realized that when I'm walking on this mountain with the, with my girlfriend in this dream, and I'm seeing all these people that I really have feelings for as well, not just this girl. I'm walking up there and I'm seeing this man and I recognize him. And I think, oh my God, it's him I've actually met him. And it's that type of person that you have really strong feelings for, even if they're dead, and if they passed away, or even if they're alive. But in the dream they died, but they're alive in the dream now. And you say, oh my god, I found that person. And you're walking up the hill and you're just like, oh my god, I can actually speak to this person. And you don't know how real this feels when you can actually talk to the person that's passed away in the, in the dream. I, I think I've actually realised something. I don't actually trip on the Torah. The only time when I trip on the Torah is when I'm sleeping. And I believe when I'm in that dreamlike sleep, sleep that people call, that's when I'm actually tripping. That's, that's it, I found it. Because when I was walking up that hill and I said, hey man, I love your music, man, I love everything that you do, and I support you and everything. And then I watched as I was walking up the mountain, he, and he was so, he was, he was really young, he was about 37, right? And I, uh, as, as I was getting higher and higher up at this mountain, I was noticing that he was getting older. And I was looking, and I lost my girlfriend, and I couldn't find where she was, and I just kept on walking up this hill. And I realised by the time I got up to that top of the hill, he was an old man. And that was as old that he was when he died. And I was looking at him, and I remember I seen him, he was walking up, and I said, it's been a pleasure to meet you, man, and I have everything that you do, and I support you in everything that you do as well. And then I looked around, and I seen everything, I was looking around for a split second, and he was gone. And that big connection that I had between me and that person was gone, you know. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, you know, the feeling. I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but if you've had a similar experience to this, you'll probably mostly understand. And it's that feeling that everything that I, that I have, and every emotion that I've had, and every person that I've been attached to in my life, whether it's someone that I've been brought up with from a young age, not a family member, just an old man, an old woman. And when they disappear, you know, like I said before in this video, I said that, sorry, I'm trying to not tear up here. But when I said that when you see dead relatives, when you're in this Datura trip, I've actually noticed you see them when you're dreaming. And it's the dream that has the effects of Datura, and it's uh, everything that you've loved in your life comes back in the dream, and you get to see them again for that split second, and it feels so real, and then they're gone again. And that's one of the big reasons why I take a lot of Datura as well, because Datura makes me see those people again. And it's just beautiful to just see that person again. But also it can be bad where you see people who were mean to you in the past. And even just their presence coming back alive. And then traumatizing you again. It feels so real. That split second that you get where you, where you meet them. And then it goes away again. And I just love being, I love to see the people that I've, you don't physically see them, but you feel their soul and you hear their voices. It's difficult to explain, but, oh God, it really affects you. Just that split second where you get to meet that person who's passed away. And you get to see them for that split t 10 seconds or whatnot in that dream. And then it's over again. 
And then you want to take more and more and more because you want to see those people again. And when you take it, sometimes you get the bad parts that's happened in your life. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really, really, really scary, but it's beautiful. And I'm so happy and I'm so glad to be a part of It's really emotional when you see this though. Like I said in my all in all my videos, please do not take anything like this. Because the amount of distress you can put yourself through it and the amount of <sighs> it's just it's really extraordinary, it's really beautiful. I can't put any more words to it. The only words I can say is it's beautiful. When you're there, when you're in that, in that space, you can't get out for a while. You, you remain there and you need to deal with the consequences that have still come. Um, I can't tell you what the consequences are. You just feel them and then you get them and then that's it. Oh. But all I can say with the dreams that I've had with the Torah, They've been pleasant and they've been very traumatic for me and very heartbreaking to me as well. But just having that split few seconds of meeting that person again. I don't know if you've just seen that. An orb just flew past my head. I'm spiritually here, you know. I'm spiritually... I feel them and they come attached to me, you know, because of the use of the Torah and the use of, you know, my mind. It's, it's beautiful, that's all I can tell you. It's really beautiful, but it's, holy shit, it hits you hard. Um, I hope that, I hope this video really made sense to you. Um, if it didn't, I'd be more than happy to make a video like this again. Um... What I'm basically doing is I'm basically going into that dream in this video and I'm just trying to explain what happens in as much clear detail as possible. Um, but yeah. Anyway, it's currently like 10 o'clock right now at night. So, I'm going to try and head off the bed now. Maybe stay up on my phone a couple, couple more minutes or whatnot and then I'll go to bed. But yeah, I'm going to upload this video before I go. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do so. Whew. I've actually overcome to my panic attack now. I'm kind of getting over it now. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, man.